Search teams are still trying to pinpoint the exact location of the crashed Air Asia jetliner. They expect to find most of the bodies of the crash victims inside the fuselage, which is lying somewhere at the bottom of the Java Sea. The saddest parade. Air crash victims, labelled only as number one and number two, arriving with simple ceremony at Surabaya Airport. As the tireless search and recovery operation continues over the Java Sea. Relays of helicopters and planes are combing grid by grid the area where initial discoveries of victims and debris were made. The search resumed today despite bad weather over the past few days, leaving the ocean murky with silt and sand. It's not as bad as yesterday. The task is twofold, to recover victims and debris and to try to pinpoint where the fuselage of the jetliner is lying on the ocean floor. It's expected many of the victims will be inside the main body of the aircraft. Have the divers been able to get into the water today? Uh, they're starting to prepare it. So. Only a handful of the 162 passengers and crew has so far been located. One of the bodies retrieved from the sea is believed to be that of Indonesian-born Kevin Sujip Tu, who's been studying at Melbourne's Monash University. Today would have been his 20th birthday. Many others on board were whole families heading to Singapore on holiday. My brother, my sister-in-law and his three kids. One, one daughter and two sons. All gone. All gone. If there is any anger over this tragedy, it remains aimed at local television who ran, without warning relatives, the first pictures of bodies being retrieved. I feel this is not good to show us like that. It's too... Et, not ethics. Not ethical. Yeah, not ethical. The jetliner tragedy tempered New Year celebrations across Indonesia. In the capital, Jakarta, among the fireworks were thousands of candles of remembrance. In Surabaya, from where the plane took off, the city's small Christian community has held a memorial service. For Widya Sukati Putri, wife of the plane's captain, there has been support and prayers from his old Indonesian Air Force mates. But still, she cannot accept her husband's fate. We pray together, she tells us, and I hope he can be saved from this tragedy. Prayers that seem certainly doomed to disappointment despite the continuing surge. Simon Boda is in Pangalan, born in Indonesia, and Simon, a very difficult duty for search and rescue crews. Well, Georgie, while they're recovering bodies in this mission, they're also recovering the personal belongings of all the victims, handbags, cabin luggage, personal items that give a little bit of an insight into who these people are. They tell a little story about each one of the victims, and that's particularly, I guess, heartbreaking for those rescue teams who are recovering the, these items. And, Georgie, I guess those, those images of the two coffins, 001 and 002, arriving in Surabaya last night, are just indicative of where this is going to go. What we'll be seeing is, I guess, 003, 004, all the way to 162. So, Georgie, I guess there's a long road to go in this heartbreaking search. All right, Simon. Thank you.